Hi friends, this is Pipe and Sisters video part 5 and here we are going to learn efficiency waste question which is very important as part of your exam and the similar kind of questions we have solved in time and work as well. So these questions will be little bit different whatever we solved in time and work but the concept will be very much same. So the question is pipe A can fill the tank in half of the time in which pipe B can fill the same tank. Okay, So this statement pipe A can fill the tank in half the time in which pipe B can fill the tank, the same tank, right. So what I will do here is, I will just write it down, pipe A and here pipe B, right. Suppose if pipe B is taking 4 hours, then pipe A will take half of the time, so half of the time will be 2 hours, right, okay. And one formula which I have taught you earlier, mountain dew formula. Mountain Dew formula means days into efficiency will be equal to work, right? And they are talking about the same tank or same work. So when the work will be constant, when the work will be same, then days will become inversely proportional to efficiency. The meaning is if efficiency is more, then you will take less number of days and the, if the efficiency is less, then you will take more number of days, right? So here pipe A is taking half of the time to fill the tank as pipe B takes. So if pipe B is taking 4 hours, then pipe A will take 2 hours, right? So I can write down here pipe A and pipe B. So this is 4 hours and this is 2 hours. So in terms of ratio, it will be 1 is to 2, right? This is our days or our ratio. Okay, and once we will write the same thing in the terms of efficiency, then it will become ultra, right? See, days if it is 1 is to 2, then efficiency ratio will become 2 is to 1, right? Because days is inversely proportional to efficiency. Now, A by B, efficiency will be 2 is to 1 or A is equals to 2B, I can write it down, right? So, this equation we got in terms of efficiency. See, why we are calculating the efficiency? Because any question of time and work or pipe and cisterns, we have to use, we have to calculate efficiency to solve the questions quickly and very easily, right? Okay. Now, the next part is, we have got the equation A is equals to 2B, right? After that, what we do is, we write A, B, A plus B. Now, here efficiency we will write and here days we will write, okay? Now, A is equals to 2B, so what we can do is, we can assume the efficiency of B is 1, then efficiency of A will become what? A is equals to 2 into 1. So, this will become 2, right? See, and I have told you earlier, if A is equals to 2B is an equation of efficiency, then we can assume any value of B. You assume the value of B is 1 or 2 or 4 or whatever, 1 lakh, 2 lakhs, whatever you want, you can assume your answer will be same because the efficiency is in terms of ratio and your ratio will never change, right? Okay. So, if both the pipes are open simultaneously, it takes 8 hours to fill the tank. So, if both the pipes are open simultaneously, then how much hours it takes? 8. See, this can be written as hours or days is really does not matter because here efficiency into days is equals to work or you can say efficiency into hour is equals to work or efficiency into second is equals to work. This is nothing but your days or hour, right? Okay. Now, A plus B efficiency will be what? 2 plus 1 will be 3 and efficiency into days will be what work right so this is work of a this is work of b and this is work a plus b and one more thing we know work done by a will be equal to work done by b will be equal to work done by a plus b because work is same right now what we will do we will compare a and we will compare c a plus b why we will compare a and a plus b because a plus b data is given right a plus b data is given so a plus b work will be days into efficiency or hours into efficiency. So, 8 into 3 which we wrote here and A efficiency is 2 and let us assume the number of hours is x. So, 2 into x. So, 2 into x is equal to 3 into 8. This will go by 4 times and x will become 12. That means A alone will take 12 hours to complete the work and option A will be the correct answer. Question number 2. One pipe can fill a tank 3 times fast as another pipe okay so suppose this is one pipe 
and this is another pipe right so one pipe can fill a tank three times fast as another pipe means if one pipe is taking three hours then another pipe will take one hour similarly we can also say if one pipe is taking nine hour then other pipe will take three hours because one time is three times fast means if it is taking nine hours it will take only three hours if another pipe is taking three hours this will take only one hour because it is three times fast so it will take less time right so this ratio is given in terms of time right so time of one pipe and divide by another pipe right so in terms of ratio it has given is one divided by three this is in terms of time but for solving the questions of either time and work or pipe and systems what we need we need efficiency right and we know days will be or time will be inversely proportional to efficiency right if you are more efficient you will take less time and if you are less efficient you will take more time right okay so time ratio is one pipe divided by another pipe is equal to one by three so when there will be efficiency ratio will be there then this ratio will change so one pipe divided by another pipe will become three is to one and one pipe we are assuming a and another pipe we are assuming b so a will be equal to three b right and this we are getting in terms of efficiency right okay now we will bring that here a is equal to 3b this is in terms of efficiency we have got the equation now we'll write here a we'll write b and then here efficiency and then here either days you say or you say time hour minute everything is same and here we'll write a plus b now a is equal to 3b so if you'll put the value of b is equal to 1 a efficiency will automatically become 3 you can put any value of b here accordingly the value of a will change suppose the value of b is 2 then a will become 6 and you will be getting the same answer whatever you are solving with 1 and 3 and now a plus b will become what 1 plus 3 so a plus b efficiency will become 4 right now what they are telling in the question if together the two pipes can fill the tank in 36 minute so together a plus b are filling the tank in 36 minute then the slower pipe right so which one is slower pipe how will you identify the slower pipe so slower pipe means efficiency will be less see if you are a slow person or if you are taking more time to solve a question then your efficiency is less so you see in a or b whose efficiency is less b efficiency is less so b will become what slower pipe so they are asking about the slower pipe they are asking about the b that means how much time b will take to fill the tank right now we know one thing work done by a and work done by b and work done by a plus b all will be same so what we will do we will compare b work with a plus b why because a plus b data is given b efficiency is given and we will assume b is taking x minute to fill the tank now what i will do i will equate the equations here so work done by b it will be equal to work done by a plus b now work done by b will be efficiency into days or time so 1 into x minute is equals to work done by a plus b is equals to efficiency 4 and the time is 36 minute and from here x will become what 36 into 4 is 144 minute so the answer will be 144 minute that means the slower pipe will take 144 minute to fill the tank thanks for watching the video